Now for the fun stuff. So in this lecture, this is just the how we built it video from our live demo of our exercise project two. So let me show you how it was built step by step. So of course, like always, we use our PHP tags to define what kind of code we're going to be developing in. Another step is that we declare our class called person. And once we declared or define our class called person, within the class, we want to use constants. So we declare one constant that we want to display. So again, we use the con st keyword because we're going to be creating a class constant. And again, a class constant value can only be assigned once and cannot be changed or reassigned throughout the entire PHP program while it's running. So we use our middle name and you can assign your middle name as the value for our constant. And next we want to set up our first name and last name attributes. So we have our var first name equals to the default value is not available or in a and we did the same thing for our last name attribute. So the following step is that we want to set up our methods that we want to use and change our values or our first name and last name. So we set up a function slash method called set person name. And again, we use the this special pointer to access our object attribute, which is first name and last name. And we just reassign new values or new a new first name and last name to our attributes. With our get function, we want to actually retrieve the first name and last name. So we use our echo statement and we end the class here and we want to create a new object from our person class. So we use person as our, our object and we use the keyword new because we're going to be creating a new object from our person class. And next we want to display the title of the exercise project to let us know what we're going to be doing. So again, I just used HTML heading tags, which you can use as well. And you just display the text here, exercise section two, essential constructs. So next moving right along, we want to display the person name. So again, we use the echo keyword and we use this line of code, which is default name and our single single quotation marks followed by our object and we want to access the property named first name to get the value. We add a space and then we want to access the value of last name in our object, which we get. And this will give us our default assigned values, which is not, not available for first and last name. We add two breaks here for, for formatting to make it look neat and nice. And then we want to change the name here. So again, we just used our set person name method within our class and it modified our attribute names or attribute first name and last name of your choice. So what we want to do next is display that new name. So we use the get person name to, to retrieve and display our new assigned first name and last name. And again, we use two more breaks for displaying purposes. And we want to display the constant that we use. Again, for the constant, we use the class name where the con constant is in. And we use the two semicolon operators because we're calling a constant directly from the class. It's not called by any object created. And we just use the constant name, which is middle name. And that's the complete layout and how our exercise section two project was built.